Hello again. In this video we are going to discuss methods of data transfer in EasyBuilder Pro, including time-based bit and word, bit trigger, and touch trigger. We will also do a simple macro to do data transfer as well. So let's get started. In the interest of time, I went ahead and created a little project here. This represents uh, a few different types of uh, data transfer here. If you go to the uh, Object tab and find Data Transfer, under here you'll see two types. The first type we're going to discuss is, is a trigger-based data transfer. Now here you can see we are taking data from LW0 and our destination register is our FATEC PLC D0 uh, number words 5 and this is a touch trigger so we're using a touch trigger we would also use an external trigger which would be a PLC or HMI local bit and you can define the trigger state but uh, for this example we're doing the touch trigger and this that is this button right here right here is our source registers LW0 to LW4 and our destination would be D0 to D4 Go ahead and run a quick little simulation. And you can see it moved them right on over. Our next type is a time-based data transfer. And we'll start down here with number three. Uh, this is moving M0 to LB0, uh, data length of five. This is a time-based bit data transfer. You can define uh, cycle time all the way up to 25 and a half seconds. So what I've done here is I've created a combo button and uh, the, this is a seri series of toggles and I'm toggling from M0 to M4 Here I'm showing the value of LB0 to LB4 so about every quarter of a second or so this should follow the state of where I set these five bits so we'll go ahead and do a simulation pretty cool huh So we'll move on to our next time base example we did, doing a word move here. And we're going to move the value of LW20 to LW10. Right here is my, um, this object will show the value of LW20. This one will show the value of LW10. And um, I did a couple of um, word sets. 
objects here. So I could write a constant value into LW20. Or here I could write a zero back into LW20. And over here I've got, um, got LW bits or 10 bit zero through 10 bit nine. So when I click this button, I will put a value of 1023 in there, which should light up all of these bits here. So we'll go ahead and run that little test. So you see the value goes from here to here. You see the uh, data transfer overwrites it. Pretty cool. And last but not least, is our first one here. Uh, we're doing bits, we're doing 10 bits, and we're moving the value of LB10 to LB100. Here I have a combo button, and I am toggling the value of LB10 to LB19. And it should transfer here to LB100 to LB109. Do a quick simulation. And there you see it works. Now let's move on to the more interesting. These are uh, embedded features and, uh, and they're really handy. They work great. They just sit there and work in the background. Uh, but I've also used and do like to use the uh, macro method. And you can get as complex or as simple as you want with this method. I made a, a page here, macro page. Now in um, this example you can actually enable and disable the data transfer and you can define the length of the data transfer right here with this bit. Let's go ahead and do a quick offline simulation. Alright, so let me plug a couple more values in here. Now uh, this is our, our transfer length, so I'll start out and just do one and enable it. So you see that transferred. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and leave it on and I'll change this to uh, let's say a read length of three. And you see that transferred. Or I can read everything. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Change this to a, a length of five and enable it. And then dynamically as your data changes it will follow. Pretty cool stuff. So let's uh, take a look at the meat and potatoes of that uh, macro. It's actually pretty simple. Um, we've got a, uh, a short object for our data. Now if you are using floating point or, or data in some other format, then of course you would need to uh, format your, your objects here the same. And then we've got our data length object. 
We also have a bool enabled object that I've created. The read address is RWA bit zero and that's a local HMI bit. Um, I'm doing a little delay here just to give it time to read then enable. And then um, if enable equals one, in other words it's on, then uh, we will get our data length. We'll do a data our data length read and that is in register RW0, the local HMI. I wanted to go ahead and uh, put a little limit uh, on here so we wouldn't just go crazy. And I guess I could also do a statement to make sure that the data length was at zero. So anyways, if the data length is greater than 20, uh, then I'm gonna change it to 20. So basically we're limited to that. We're going to get data from our origin register, local HMI RW100. We're going to do a read length that we de defined. Then we're going to turn right around and we're going to take this same data from this array, our data array, and we're going to do a set data starting register LW100, write length of our uh, data length object. So it's just really that simple. Uh, you can feel free to uh, pause and copy the code and give it a give it a try if you like. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there and we'll take a look here is our origin register RW100 to RW104 and our destination registers LW100 to LW104. So uh, our macro is very flexible, that macro that I wrote. Um, so we could actually expand this a little bit if we wanted to. Do a handy little multi copy here another five here another five here so we'll do a uh, simulation real quick So let's see it didn't change. Let me change my length to 10 and see there you have it. So pretty cool stuff. Neat little macro. Now I'll show you another way you could do it. Uh, you could simplify it a whole lot from that. Uh, you could actually just get rid of all this stuff right here. You don't need your data length. You just need a uh, data array. And a uh, get and set, set statement. And you want to change this to a, uh, to a static length. We'll say 10 because that's what we had over there. We'll do a quick simulation, let you see that. So no matter what I put in here, it's just going to transfer. So you can just do a, uh, a straight down and dirty macro with gets and sets to do data transfers for you. Or you can do a more refined version and do define a, an enable, disable bit and a uh, read length register. That about does it. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.